So hello, my name is Dr. Francis Omonefe, an exploration geophysicist with Frandi Consulting. So um, we'll continue from where we stop. Because of my busy schedule, I think from now on, we'll be using videos and um, online online classes. Our workflow has been given to us, so we don't need to start dancing around the bush. So we'll start with the assessment of wear tie. Um, I told you that everything in Petra is like manually building everything there's no automatic so um, before you perform your assessment to wear tie there are a lot of processes you need to follow before you get to your destination so in doing our assessment to wear tie which includes all this other information we need to um set up properly we need to import some missing files such as um, check shots so last time we did not import our check shots, so now we'll be importing our check shots. So this is our 3D window where we have our seismic data and our wear heads. Um, well, then this is our, our, our um, wear session window where we can display our logs. We have two ways for this study. And we have our seismic adaptation window where you can display both your wear and everything you have. You can just display them there but in two-way travel time. So um, so let's begin. For us to start this process, we need to import our check shot. So I'm going to click on my well and import on selection. Import on selection, I'm going to import this one, A1. Um, I told you this A1 notepad was extracted from the Excel that was there. So I'm going to import only this A1 stuff, this A1 zero. I extracted it from the SF file. When you check your folder properly, you see an yeah. SF file named that way. So just copy the information that's the, the figures, or I would like to just copy the figures there and put it on your notepad and save it. So that's what I did. So I have my MD, I have my two-way travel time, and I'll have my well. So um, on this panel, it, it should go that same way. So I have my MD, I have my two-way travel time, and I have my well. So our MD is measured in feet. So you have to get this measurement correctly. If not, your your well will not align. You just see your well very short somewhere upstairs short it's not long enough so if you don't get the correct measurement your wear will be short over short really short uselessly short okay so we have our, our milliseconds here our our two-way travel time is measured in milliseconds so our well is there a one our well so because our well is already measured here these options are grayed out they're grayed out so our our number of header is, is just one. So you click OK for all. But you can name you can just rename this thing, just leave it at A1 so that we know we are talking about A1 well and click OK for all. So I'm going to import on selection B. Sorry, import on word B, import on selection. I'm going to import on selection. I'm going to click this one. So I will have our NG, our NG is in, is in meter, so we travel time in meter, this in milliseconds, I'm going to click OK, OK for all, so on our B1, I'm going to click on this, we can run, Okay, good. So we have our B1 looking long now. We we'll have our B1 looking the way it should be. Then you click on OK. Apply and click OK. Then you go to our word 2, I mean A1, well, A1. You click on this, you click on Run. You click on Apply, you click on OK. So our uh, way 2 is displayed, 
Okay, so we have it. I just checked this to it out and two. So we'll have our well the way it should be. So with this, I think we are satisfied with our care. We'll have our two ways display the way it should be. Uh, we can the travel time and see how it is. Click our travel time. Okay, so um, now that we are okay with this stuff, I'm going to my um, cross. I'm going to my web session window. I'll go to my web session window and click our top. So in doing that, you're going to open your bus like just like a mechanic. You have your two bus also here because you're actually a mechanic. <laughs> so uh, we'll open our, our two bots. These are two pilots. I normally call it two bots because it's looking like a two bots. I'll click on it. Uh, most of the time it appears like this. So we're uh, going to define the kind of two bots you want to use. So you click on this star and you say this thought I want to do. Oh, well, I want to do work correlation. So let's do work correlation. Click on it and your two will appear here. When you are satisfied with your play, you can close that window in. And so we want to pick our top. But before I do that, I will quickly just color some logs to see our zone of interest. Quickly color some logs to see our zone of interest. So on from this session, I'm going to click on this first one. I don't want to go the hard way of of coloring a log because we are in haste. I'll just click and drop, drop here. Then I'll use my camera log, I'll drop here as well. Then this by neutral porosity, I'll drop here as well. Okay, so with these logs checked out, um, let me also check my DIY. Oh. So with this log checked out like this, I can as quite quickly go to my to my web session window. You see your web session window like this. You go to your temp, um, template setting and uncheck the ones you didn't you don't need. Or check this BS, check this caliper, or check this the only this DR if I just followed it. And check this DT, check this DTS, check this gamma ray, no I'll leave the gamma ray. Or or check a uh, I color this one, I will check this, I will check the velocity, mm. I will check as well, then I will check the water saturation, I will check this as well, I will check um, volume of shade, I will check SP, I will check, um, what else is this one, check, ah, there, there are too many, I will check this, Check this, I check this, I check this, check this, and check this, and check this, and check this, 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 this. Okay, gonna apply. Okay, so we have our logs this this small now. Let's leave it like this. Let's leave it this small. Okay, so I'll put on the fly. Put on okay. Let's leave it small. Um, there are a lot of work to do on the Pacifica session, but uh, today class is to do our segment segment the way time. So in doing that, I'm going to take my two balls, pick my two balls here that says edit way top. I'll click on it. It will show me no active surface. So I'll create an active surface now. I'll click here. I'll click here. You know, when you check your well log as as a geologist or as a physicist, you should just know your zone of interest from looking at the well logs, and it ties around your um, gamma ray and your reactivity when it comes to reservoir. So at this point, I'll pick here as my top come and pick here also as my top then i'll create a new one a new horizon i'll click here again the way you are picking you just pick from 
you just pick all the top from along the well um, along the words you pick all the top as you pick from here you go to where two you pick if you have 20 words that's how you pick all the top from where one to where 20. you don't pick top and base at the same time so you are finished picking all your top from all your 20 words 50 words any words that you have then you, create, you come back and create a new one creating a new one through this icon which will tell you that there's no active surface here start creating another active surface so you click here click here click here click here so um so at this point it, it will it will be named horizon two okay so we now have our horizon two like this I, I want it to be named top and base. If you notice a new tree has been added to your to your tree. A new tree has been added to your tree. So I'm going to double click on my web top. Oh sorry. Open the drop down menu in my web top. You see your stratigraphy, open it and you see your horizon one. You double click on it and call this call this top. Click on apply and click on OK. Double click on horizon two. I click on top and um, base rather click base click apply and click on OK. Mm, now that we are satisfied with this, let's head straight to our assessment to wear tie. So I'm going to close these two pilots like this. So on um, to perform our assessment to wear tie, this is your home. You go to your um, assessment adaptation column and base. Like this. So I'm going to click on our assessment to where tie here. So um to perform your assessment to where tie, you need to do your sonic calibration first. And you can see sonic calibration and the next thing is synthetic generation to get the sonic to where tie and what have you. So now we are going to create a new study. Um which is a sonic calibration. On our input log, we can see that um, this information is automatically added for our B, B1. Now, um, our B1 this and go back. okay i'm going to go back i think i i, I spot out an error Okay, let, let's just continue. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, um, continue. Continue. Click on auto save here. Click on auto save. And you click on apply. Click on apply and you click on OK. So, you have your reflectivity and what have you. So you go, you click on this stuff, click on this stuff, and so on the, on your subject to wait time window, you click on this this thing here. You automatically change your view to something happened there. Well, I can't just explain what happened there. So in doing that, we go back again, go back to assessment to wait time. I'm going to create a new study. Creating a new study, then we're going to create synthetic generation. 
and still on your B1. Now your B1 well is, is was chosen because it is a deviated well. The other one is just a straight well and says me to well I loss working in deviation. So um, on this surface, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on statistical, instruction, B1. Okay, I'm going to leave everything at default. So click on apply and click on OK. Then click on apply. And click on OK. So um, as you can see, uh, synthetic is being generated and this is my zone of interest, this is my top and base so let's identify our top and base I'm going to click on this stuff, click it here first on that um, apply box shift, I, I just put a random number 25 but you can leave yours at zero, then I click, I keep clicking that a maximum cross correction time shift so i'm just clicking the time shift uh, until i get it, the best match that is automatically done for you until you get the best match and when you get the best match it will stop no matter how many times you click it yes so i kept clicking it until i get a best uh, match at 147 so at that number it stopped it stopped going if you like click it, it won't it will show. So at 149 billion seconds, I have the best alignment from my sister to wear type. So I can go back here. So everything is looking yeah. fair enough. Everything is looking fair. So, like this, you are satisfied with our care. So, this is how to perform your synthetics. This is how to perform your synthetics. Let's make the right time. So at this point, let me check my my top on it. Check my top. So as you can see, we have our reservoir top and base here. So we have our reservoir top and base. We have our reservoir top and base here. Stop and base, stop and base, stop and base. So you never eat and what are what does this you should do here? So let me end the class here.